Well, it is day 21 of the government shutdown, and it also means no paycheck for 800,000 federal workers. Here in North Carolina, there are about 72,000 of them, and many of them work at the airport as TSA agents. CBS 17's Beershell Ed May joins us now live from RDU with more on this. Beershell, good morning. Good morning to you. You know, these TSA workers, of course, check your ID. They're going through your luggage. But the most important thing is they're really ensuring your security and safety. But now that top-notch security you come to expect when you go to an airport might be at risk. Not only are we seeing increased sick calls from TSA agents, now they're not getting paid. Today's the first day they are not getting a paycheck. But we do know there are 51,000 people that work with this agency. So the thought here is that they would be able to actually deal with whatever changes they have because of the government shutdown. But agents have been calling out sick. And just two days ago, CNN got an internal TSA email threatening to discipline employees that call out sick. That message to the Palm Springs Airport said, quote, excessive unscheduled absences adversely impacted security operations. The California Regional TSA Deputy Director went a step further in that same email. He said employees that call out sick, quote, will not be placed in intermittent furlough status. So instead, the those federal employees would be marked as AWOL and disciplined after the shutdown. Recently, we actually spoke to an FAA director and talked about the importance of this job and everything going on with the government shutdown. When people board the aircraft, we don't care who they are. We don't care if they're Democrat Republicans. They don't care what minority they are, what religion they go to. We're there to ensure that that aircraft is as safe as possible for them. But now, for the first time, that internal memo showing us that TSA leaders themselves are having concerns about security. In fact, saying there is an impact. Now, there was a higher official within the TSA that clarified or added more to that statement and memo saying that it was just a reminder about the federal rules and that security at Palm Springs Airport or any other airports won't be impacted. Reporting live at RDU, I'm Beershell Edmay with CBS 17 News. Wow. Thank you, Beershell. That's, yeah, a, that's a major development. It is.